Do you need Kubernetes? Well, considering that Fly.io has a Kubernetes service, we clearly don't think the answer is a flat out no. But let's be honest, a lot of startups suffer from, I don't know, what I call Kubernetes brainworms, where they reach for it because they think it's what they need to scale big, or they think that their project will be sufficiently complicated to warrant it. But that criteria is wildly oversimplistic. So in this video, let's define what orchestration actually is so we can decide whether or not we need Kubernetes to accomplish that. All right, so orchestration, what even is it? I feel like people often use this as a catch-all term for whatever Kubernetes does, which is a useless definition. You see, the idea of orchestration wasn't super common until the popularization of VMs and especially containers. Before that, people tended to scale up, as in getting bigger, badder servers. But shifting to scaling our apps horizontally, aka having multiple instances, gave us a reason to do orchestration. At its core, orchestration is really just about having a centralized way of having N containers with however many physical machines. That's it. Now, granted, this narrow definition is doing uh, a lot of heavy lifting. And in my book, this covers things like scheduling and rolling out deployments, uh, resource management, so deciding which services get however much CPU and memory, and then of course, scaling, so adding or subtracting instances as necessary. Now, there are a lot of supplementary jobs that go hand in hand with this bare bones version of orchestration, and that might include things like load balancing. So how do we make sure that requests are fairly distributed across all instances? Service discovery. So how do we keep track of the frequently changing IPs of our ephemeral instances? Networking. So how are our services interconnected? And of course, monitoring and logging. So how do we notice when shit goes wrong? Everything that I've mentioned so far are things that Kubernetes does, and I'm sure I've left out a couple of things, but what I'm trying to do here is separate out the task itself from the implementation. Because you technically don't need Kubernetes to get any of this, all right? All of these responsibilities are taken care of when you deploy on fly. Which begs the question, why would you reach for a complicated orchestration tool in the first place? Well, I'm gonna illustrate this by giving you a really good example. Foundation DB. For those that are unfamiliar, this is the database that iCloud uses, and it's praised for having high performance and strong consistency. Also, it's a beast. What's tricky is that FoundationDB isn't just one thing in the way that Postgres is one thing, all right? It's actually a lot of different services working together. It's incredibly powerful, but you really have to know what you're doing to use it. To quote my coworker Thomas, there are no casual users of FoundationDB. Luckily, Apple has made an open source operator for managing FoundationDB clusters in Kubernetes. So if you're going to use FoundationDB, that's very appealing. You see, the benefits of using Kubernetes aren't just that it's great for managing deployments and rollbacks and networking and blah, 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 blah. No, it offers you a common language that's cloud or really infrastructure agnostic. And this makes it very portable. Additionally, while Kubernetes isn't exactly seen as infrastructure as code in the way that, say, Terraform is, it is declarative, which can be very appealing if you have a ton of different microservices to manage. So it really comes down to this. When you get to a point where you have a ton of different apps that are all working together and you've got a bunch of teams that are constantly pushing changes, then it might make sense to consider using Kubernetes. The last thing I wanna say is this. If you're already using Kubernetes and you're comfortable with it and you're rocking and rolling, I am not here to convince you otherwise. But if you're on the fence about it and you think it's just something that you should use because all the hardcore startups are using it, maybe give it a little more thought. If you're still sure that you wanna use it, be sure to check out the docs for our Fly Kubernetes Service or FKS. I'll let you decide how you wanna pronounce that. Uh, lastly, uh, if you guys have any requests for videos, be sure to let us know, let me know, I'm the only one who checks this, in the comments section below. Uh, so far, I just kinda do videos that I think are neat. Uh, but if you have requests, let, let us know. Anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. What was I talking about? Oh, right. Orchestras, right? Yes, cool. Gosh. Hot, 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 hot. Ah, okay.